हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम मानसी अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ एंड आल्सो अ प्राउड ट्रेनी ऑफ एएस कैंपस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ वीडियो ऑन क्लास नाइन्थ साइंस चैप्टर सेल द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ सेल इज नोन एज द स्ट्रक्चरल स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ बिकॉज अ ग्रुप ऑफ सेल मेड अ टिश्यू and a group of tissue make various organs and organs make organ system and finally organ system make a whole organisms which means that cells are very important for forming a an whole organism also it is known as the functional unit of life because cells are capable of performing various function in the human body so in this slide we are going to discuss who discover cell cell is firstly discovered by robert robert hook in the year 1665 he took a bark and discover cell he discovered non living cell of a bark he saw some little room like structure it was named cell because cell is a latin word which means little room then Antony van Leeuwenhoek discovered first living cell in the year 1674 Then Robert Brown discovered nucleus or in plant cell in 1831 and Purkinje coined the term protoplasm in 1839 also some other scientist give their statement firstly matthias jacob sclidon give his statement in the year 1838 that all plants are made up of cell then theodor schwann gave his next statement in 1839 that all animals are made up of cell then rudel rudolf virchow gave his statement in 1855 that all existing cells come from pre existing cells which means that old cell make new cell for the formation of organisms and he gave a statement real statement that omnicellula a cellula which means this next there are some cell theories let's see which are they first all living things are composed of cells means that all living things are made up of cell and we can say that cells are the building blocks of any organism's body next cells are basic structural and functional unit of life we discussed about this in previous slides also the last one is new cells are produced from existing cells as the new cells are made by the old cells cells are different on the basis of their size number and shape we discuss we will discuss these points in the next slides so in this slide we are going to discuss the difference of cell on the basis of their number there are two kinds of organisms firstly unicellular organisms these organisms are made up of single cell for example bacteria protoplasm etc and next one is multicellular organisms these organisms are made up of more than one cell for example human beings animals etc in this next slide we are going to discuss the different kind of cell on the basis of their shape firstly nose 
no cell it is branched and elongated as you see in the slide that our neuron cell is branched and also elongated next ovum ovum is a spherical shaped cell and it is also one of the largest cell in a human body next our bone cell bone cells are spindle in shape that's why you can observe that our mus our muscle cell bone cell no cells these cells are different on the basis of their shape also blood cell blood cell form blood and our bone cell make bone of our body all fat of our body is made up of fat cell our the no system of brain is also made by neuron cells and at last our muscles are made by muscle cells now we are going to discuss different kind of cell on the basis of their size do you know that the smallest cell is mycoplasm and the largest cell is ostrich egg the basic structure of a cell is cell membrane nucleus and cytoplasm but you can see some other factors of a cell like smooth endoplasmic reticulum nuclear envelope and rough endoplasmic reticulum mitochondrion ribosomes lysosomes etc in both animal and plant cell this video we are going to discuss different part of a cell with the help of this 3d animation now you can see the cell there are different parts of a cell like endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes etc this is nucleus we are going to observe the inner part of a nucleus this is dna this is made up of chromatin these are chromatin when these chromatin get uh, condensed they make chromosome this is the nuclear membrane in which they are present can you see the process of making of chromosomes thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share it subscribe it and like my video thank you for watching this video